एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो नाओ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द पैराग्राफ विच वी हैव लेफ्ट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट इज वी हैव लेफ्ट सम पैराग्राफ्स ऑफ द टॉपिक दैट वॉज गिवन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो सो लेट्स रीड इट इफ वी कंटिन्यू हीटिंग द कप वी कैन इवन बॉइल वॉटर इन द पेपर कप can you think of an explanation for this phenomenon the heat supply to the paper cup is transferred to water by conduction so in the presence of water the ignition temperature of paper is not reached hence it does not burn the substances which have very low ignition temperature and can easily catch fire with the flame are called inflammable substances so what are inflammable substances we have to underline this point and we should keep in mind about this definition so its examples also given examples of inflammable substances are petrol alcohol liquefied petroleum gas that is lpg etc can you list some more inflammable substances so you should know about this on your own so you can also list some more examples if you know about this so here is another topic that is given into how do we control fire so you must have seen or heard of fire breaking out in homes shops and factories if you have seen such an uh, accident write a short description in your notebook also share the experience with your classmates then find out the telephone number of the fire service in your area if a fire breaks out in your house or in your neighborhood the first thing to do is to call the fire service then does your city slash town have a fire brigade station when a fire brigade arrives what does it do it pours water on the fire that is shown in figure 6.6 so here is the figure 6.6 a fireman extinguish the fire by throwing water under pressure so water cools the combustible material so that its temperature is brought below its ignition temperature this prevents the fire from spreading water vapors also surround the combustible material helping in cutting off the supply of air so the fire is extinguished so if the question arises that how can we extinguish a fire so you can write this paragraph and explain all the points which are necessary for this now you have learned that there are three essential requirements for producing fire can you list three require these requirements these are fuel air to supply oxygen and heat to raise the temperature of the fuel beyond the ignition temperature so these are the three requirements you should keep in mind then fire can be controlled by removing one or more of these requirements the job of a fire extinguisher is to cut off the supply of air or to bring down the temperature of the fuel or both notice that the fuel in most cases cannot be eliminated if for instance a building gas is fire the whole building is the fuel so that's uh, it for the Uh, for this video and for this topic so we will learn the next topic which is given just below this paragraph that is 6.3 types of combustion in the next video till then you can learn all the topics that we have cleared in the previous videos